Okay, just kidding. So that's not really how you measure ohms with a multimeter. That's just a little meditation multimeter humor. But I am going to be using an analog multimeter because I'm an analog girl in a digital world and measuring things today. But um, first of all, obviously this is the next installment in my ongoing nightmare uh, with my dryer. I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is it's still not fixed. The good news is hopefully I'm one step closer to figuring it out. Um, so the last time you saw my dryer <clears throat> was when it was open and you saw the horror movie inside with all the charred blankets of lint. So I cleaned all that out, cleaned and vacuumed so you can see it's quite different than the last time you saw it. There's no fur. Cleaned all that out uh, by hand and with a vacuum. And uh, the next step was removing this part, which uh, was just held on there by four uh, nuts, which I used with I removed with a quarter inch nut driver. And then in here is the thermal fuse and thermistor. Now, okay, so when I did some research about the dryers not heating. Um, I cleaned out all the lint. I knew that was the first step because obviously that's what caused a problem burning smell. Um, when there is a problem with overheating or burning whatever, the thermal fuse is the first thing to go. So I was pretty sure that was what was wrong. But to be extra sure, I got a multimeter to test it. So with an analog multimeter, you set First of all, you calibrate it to make sure that's working well. You set it to ohms of resistance. You know your old when I have to put on reading glasses to see things up close. Okay, so is that, yeah, ohms with the omega sign. Okay, and then you put the two things together to calibrate it. So when you're pinching the things together, it should go to zero. So that's what it should read if something is functioning. And then like it says here, good on the green end and obviously bad on the red end. So I tested the uh, thermal fuse. Now I should mention, I um, so I thought it was the thermal fuse. I ordered one from eBay because it was only $1.50. So I mean, what do I have to lose? Even if it's wrong, I'm at $1.50 and free shipping. But it wasn't going to be here for a month. So I thought, okay, well, that gives me a month to psych myself up to open up the dryer and, you know, think about tackling this. But then one day I, I was outside and there was a white van, uh, an appliance repair thing. And normally I wouldn't talk to a stranger in a white van, but uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. So I kind of cornered the guy and I told him what was going on with my dryer and asked his advice. And I told him that um, I thought it was a thermal fuse and he asked, well, what do they look like? So I told him it's this white thing with these metal things. And so he showed me and he had one like from the factory that he had a Whirlpool thermal fuse and it was the same part number as the one that I had ordered and I'm like oh my gosh like I don't have to wait a month that's awesome and he just gave it to me he said here um good luck and he gave me his card like it's kind of genius marketing because obviously if I do run into problems I'm for sure calling that guy to help but he was very nice and um yeah so I thought I think I can do this now I have to tell you there was a video about removing the thermal fuse and the guy made it look super easy to pull it up I had a hell of a time I gotta tell you okay so there are these two wire things um, on here and in the video it looked like you could just wiggle them and they would come off. Oh hell no. I was wiggling forever and then I put on garden gloves and I was pulling. What finally got it were pliers. So very carefully like you don't want to rip the wires but I, I just ended up pulling it off with the pliers. So pulled the old one off, tested it with the multimeter and lo and behold. Okay so let's make sure we got this tested it and yep it did not work so how am I gonna do I need more hands can I set this on my knee is that gonna I don't know if that's gonna hold I don't know what that's showing I'll put this here I can put it honestly I need more hands 
So, yeah, there's it's showing nada. So like at one point it was moving slightly, like the needle was going a little bit up, but no, it was long story short, it did not work. Okay, like it's moving a little and then it goes back to zero. So yeah, so the, the fuse was blown. So I'm like, wow, this is great. This is just what I thought. So I took the old one um, off, tested it, it was blown. So then I put the new one in. The good news is when you're installing one, it is way easier to get the wires on than it was to get them off. So it just clicked in there. So I'm like, this is great. I've got all the lint cleaned out. I've replaced the thermal fuse. So I hooked up the, uh, the vent to the outside, like I've got a semi-rigid um, metal duct now, and I plugged it in, everything, and I tried it, and there was still no heat. Like, it, tur it turns, but there's no heat. So I was devastated, because I'm like, good lord. Like, I've gone through all this. I've cleaned the lint out of everything. I even climbed a ladder outside, because it's on the second story, and cleaned the lint out there and took the thing apart, which was terrifying to me, like opening a major appliance, like I suffer from anxiety, this was terrifying. And then what I saw inside was awful. And then just the fact that I was able to remove a thermal fuse and test it with a multimeter and replace, like I was proud of myself for like half a minute. And then when it still didn't work, I was so defeated. I was like, oh my God, like everything I try just comes to nothing. It's so discouraging. So I was bawling. And my therapist, because I'm in therapy, I have other anxiety issues. In a weird way, this whole dryer business has at least gotten my mind off other major stressors in my life and things that I'm grappling with, because I'm really facing some demons lately that I can't even get into. But um, at least this took my mind off that, but this has been stress. So anyways, so after all that, I'm like, she said, take the wins. Like, look at all the things that you accomplished, and that's pretty brave for you to do. Like, not everyone would tackle this. So, but then it felt like defeat because it's like, well, now after all that, I still have to phone a repair place because it's still not fixed. And then it's like, you know what? I'm still going to try. I'm just going to try something else. So I'm not giving up yet. Um, like there's a limit to what I can do. But really, if your dryer doesn't have heat, yeah, the thermal fuse is like number one. Cleaning out the lint, yeah, obviously. But there's also a thermistor, like a thermostat. Um, so like I could test that element don't really want to take that out and don't really want to replace that that's like 50 bucks to buy but it's like step by step right so okay so next to the thermal fuse is this thermistor guy so I thought you know what I've got a multimeter why don't I just for fun well it's not fun but why don't I test it and see because maybe that went too because if the uh, temperature was so high and there was burning and everything then maybe the thermistor went too. So I tested it and this is not showing what I wanted to show. Okay, there. Yeah, it's still in the red. So it, it's blown too. So I'm like, okay, all right. Like this, this is doable too. It's like a little bit like the thermal fuse. It's a small part. I got it out of there um, just with a uh, it's held on by two of the um, the nuts. And with this, okay, when you're doing these guys, you can't use this because this won't fit in there. So you need a, um, a socket wrench to remove those, but it's not so bad. Now these wires, they were, I'm not gonna lie to you, they were a bitch to pull off too, but now I knew to use the pliers this time, so I did pull that off. So that is blown. So, now I'm really hoping that that's all it is and that once I replace that, it'll work, but I really, I won't know. And um, I don't think I'm gonna be lucky enough to just happen to have a, an appliance guy on the street who's just gonna happen to give me a thermistor. I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky again. So I've ordered one online. It was $6 free shipping. So $1.50, six, six bucks still is, it's doable, it's okay. And it's supposed to arrive in a couple of weeks. I mean, I could have paid double the price. I could have paid $15 and maybe got, you know, Amazon Prime and got it delivered like the next day, but I really don't want to pay double. Like, I'll wait a couple of weeks and pay six bucks, you know? So, hopefully, like, good Lord, after all I've been through, I really want a happy ending, you know? But 
this is the whole idea of this playlist is life is an experiment and you don't know what's going to happen and you try things and sometimes it doesn't work and it's extremely discouraging um but you still you're like okay figure it out what's the next step figure it out and i'm i'm still trying so hopefully when i have the new thermistor and thermal fuse um hopefully then it's gonna work and i'm gonna have heat again because i mean Th these are the things that um, would be affected when there there is a, a fire hazard like what happened with all the lint accumulating and burning like that's that's got knocked out so that um, so that there wouldn't be any more heat so um, the element's not going to get heat if these guys aren't working so so we'll see what happens so yeah this mini series is <laughs> still not over but I'll let you know what happens and um, yeah, as I say, I wish it had been like a simple happy ending, but uh, no, it's continuing. But I'm not giving up yet. So, and uh, yeah, it's. I'm hoping to inspire people to face their fears. Like, obviously, be very careful. Like, be cautious. Unplug. Like, unplug before you attempt anything, and be careful with things. But um, like most of the time, when you see these videos, it's it's a guy, and he's calm, and he's confident, and he knows what he's doing. This is so not that, <laughs> but um, what I'm hoping to show is that, uh, yeah, you can be terrified and you can still attempt things. Like, um, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's feeling the fear and trying anyway and doing the best that you can. So, at the very least, even if I do have to have that appliance guy come and, you know, bail me out eventually, at least I've cleaned up the lint myself. I don't have to have the vents cleaned out. I've already replaced the thermal fuse and I will replace the thermistor. So even if there's something, at least I've done that much. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Um, take care, stay safe. Bye for now.